CEO, my pants below, create, explore, expand, concord. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord, then break. Hey, what's good, guys? Need cheap and fast Madden 18 coins? Check out coinstorehub.com and use code FLEX for 10% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex, and I'm back here with another video. Appreciate everybody stopping by the video already. The people that already got the notifications on, some people already didn't like this video before they even heard this sentence that I just said. If you want them people, I appreciate you. I really do. I appreciate everybody watching you, but I especially appreciate you. Okay, I appreciate everybody. Anyways, today I got the top five. Well, not even top five. This is not even in order. It's just five people who are on make or break seasons for the Miami Dolphins. Now I might have missed some people, so y'all can leave them in the comments. But first and foremost, before I get into the video, I want to say don't ever compare me to any other YouTuber or anybody who copied me or who just uploaded the same video as I upload right after I upload it, all right? Don't ever compare me, okay? Love everybody, love them, but don't compare me to them, all right? Thank you. Now let's get to the video. At number five, with this, and like, like I said, this is not order, this is just five people. At number five, we got Adam Gates. Now, before y'all sit up here and dislike the video, because I know y'all just love Adam Gates, and I know, I know, I know, relax, relax, relax. I'm not downplaying Adam Gates. I'm not about to talk bad on Adam Gates, all right? All right? But I will say this, all right? Every coach is really on the hot seat unless you're expected to lose, okay? If you're not expected to lose, you're on the hot seat. So I can say this about any coach. You pretty much, if you don't got no Super Bowl rings or you is not expecting to lose, you're on the hot seat. For instance, Hugh Jackson can go 0-16 and keep his job. You know why? They were expected to lose. This year, they're not expected to lose. I, I guarantee this year, if he do bad, they, they, he not going to keep his job. And Adam Gates is in a situation where Dolphins, yeah, the media expects us to lose, but as a team overall, the ownership and all of us, we are expected to win that win football games, okay? This team, this front office is expecting us to win because of the shit that Adam Gates has done, all right? And that's why he's on the hot seat. We signed a bunch of veterans. We didn't sign a whole bunch of young people. We didn't save a whole, well, we saved some money getting get rid of suing them. But we didn't save too much, a whole bunch of money like how Browns did, okay? You know what I'm saying? We didn't sign a whole bunch of young people. We signed a lot of old people. We got to win now, so Adam Gates is on the hot seat. But I, I, you can say about like half the coach in the league. That's a lot of coaches on the hot seat, okay? And he's not on the hottest seat, okay? Hugh Jackson is on the hottest seat, but his seat is, is, is uh, you know what I'm saying? It's a little, it's warm, Bruh. okay? It's really warm, actually. Heading in at number four, we got Juwan James. Now, Juwan James is a guy that I really don't care about. Uh, well, I don't want to say I don't care about. <laughs> Relax, kid. <laughs> so, dude, I hate saying that. It sounds mean. But listen, it's a guy, well, if, if he leaves, I, I wouldn't care. I, I wouldn't, like, oh, my God, Juwan. I wouldn't make a video, like, oh, my God, y'all let go of Juwan James. What the fuck, Dolphin? No, like, I would, it would be a thing, you know. It, it actually depends on what kind of season he has, but that's a huge thing because, if he has a really great season, then maybe I would I would be mad. But if he doesn't, he, he's been like middle of the road pretty much his whole career. I haven't really, you know, seen him do play super awful, but I haven't seen him play elite either. So it's just like, you know, if we if if Juwan James goes, he goes. But that is a guy who's gonna make a break season, heading off of an injury. If he comes back this year and is just doesn't return to form, I'm sorry, it's just gonna be a wrap for you. At number three. We got my boy Devontae Parker. Now, Devontae Parker, this is one that all Dolphins fans know. If you don't know this, you're not a Dolphins fan. Devontae Parker, you this is your goddamn year, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do this year, or it's a wrap, bro. All right? I'm sorry to say, bro. I love you. You're talent. You're, you're amazing. I'm getting tired of saying this because I say this and nothing ever changes, but his talent and all, it's just way too much talent there, bro. There's way too much talent. I know he has it. I know he's going to discover it. It's just how long can the Dolphins sit up here and wait for him to discover it? That's the thing. I'm not going to sit up here and keep saying, oh, he's going to change this year. Oh, he's going to change this year and stay with him and wait, waste years of his life. Like, no, just like it has to be this year, okay? I, 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 would be, I wouldn't even be mad at the Dolphins if they let go of you and you went and shined for another team. I would be mad at you because I know the Dolphins gave this man multiple opportunities to be fucked great and he just won't do it all right but this is a year right here this is a year so it don't even matter because this this is the new year brand new year fresh start let's see what Devontae Parker Park gonna do this year I, I got high hopes coming in at number two Ryan Tannehill now another one hey hey listen I know niggas is finna dislike your video I'll sh just stop relax okay Adam Gates and Ryan Tannehill that's the most sensitive Dolphins that's the most sensitive section of Dolphins fans I, I ever noticed bro dumb mother don't play when it comes to Adam Gates. Now, realize, guys. Yeah, let me explain, okay? Ron Tannehill coming off of a major injury. If he ends up getting injured again, knock on wood, 
or not return to the form that he was once in, which was wasn't that good. But I'm talking about his form of right before he got hurt when he was like 10 touchdowns, one interception, Ryan Tannehill. If you don't return to that form and we're losing, I think we go get another quarterback. I think him and Gates pretty much go at the same time, except for Adam Gates is actually going to get fired. I don't see Ryan Tannehill say getting cut this offseason, the next offseason, but we will draft his replacement. All right. And once you drive a quarterback replacement, time's are already ticking. All right, we don't have no Jimmy G. You, Ryan Tannehill is not Tom Brady. Okay, Tom Brady can sit up there and, and, and his time could be ticking. He could say fuck it and get Jimmy G traded. You think Ryan Tannehill got some kind of power to get whoever we drive traded for his backup? Once we drive Ryan Tannehill's replacement, it's going to be a wrap, and we're going to do that if Ryan Tannehill doesn't perform this season. The most accurate um, situation I could compare this to is the whole situation with Alex Smith. They drafted Alex Smith's replacement. Alex Smith, even though Alex Smith had a Pro Bowl season the next season, after they drafted his replacement with his replacement coming off the bench, Alex Smith had a Pro Bowl season, one of the greatest seasons he's ever had, okay? Probably the greatest season he ever had. You know what happened to Alex Smith? Did he get rewarded for that? No, he got traded. Bruh. Exactly. Because we are already, once you draft, once a team drafts a replacement, you're on, a, unless you are got Super Bowl rings, you're on a ticker. It doesn't matter what you do. You're just there for another bridge year, and then you're gone. So, I say this to say that. I say that to say this. Ryan Tannehill, you got to do well this season. Or in my opinion, the offense are driving your replacement. And then I'm not saying you're going to go immediately. You might have another year after next year. But your time is going to be ticking. Now, let's get to the last guy whose time is also ticking. And this is the saddest one that I have to say. And this is one that I, I, I when I was looking at this information, I'm like, wow, this, this is this is actually a very good chance that this is the case. Guys, unfortunately, this is a very good chance that this is will be Cameron Wake's last year at Miami Dolphins. Maybe even in the NFL, but I say more so Miami Dolphins. Now, how you, why, why, K Fresh, why do you say this? We're gonna resign him. Think about this, man. All right. Last year, two years ago, when we drafted Charles Harris, we had many, many holes on the team. We needed to address linebacker. We needed to address other shit. We ended up drafting damn Charles Harris, okay? Now, it didn't make sense at the time because we already had a line that was supposed to be good, which we know now that our line was ass, right? We were drafting Cameron Ray's eventual replacement, okay? We have been trying to replace Cameron Wake, whether y'all like it or not, for years. Even when he tore his Achilles. But the thing about Cameron Wake is he's so superhuman that he just won't go away. And every time we're about to replace him, he just has another great season. And we got, oh, here's another extension. Cameron Wake can't have a bad season this year. If Char if Cameron Wake has a bad season this year, I see him getting released. I see him not getting re-signed. Now. Y'all might say, oh, no, what about loyalty? He's been there for so long. I understand that, and that's what makes it so sad is because, to be honest with you, I don't think these NFL teams are, lo are loyal, okay? I've not seen no loyalty towards players out of any other NFL team, so I don't really see it going to happen with Miami Dolphins, okay? I don't see them saying, hey, you know, Cameron Wake, you, I want you, we want you to retire as a Dolphin, so we're going we're gonna to keep signing you in, as long as you want to play. I don't see that happening. We've already literally drafted his replacement. The only thing keeping Cameron Wake on this team is that he's so fucking good and he's old and he's defying his age and we just can't let him go. But that one season, he slips up and this is a contract year for him. So wrap. This is a contract year for him. If he has a bad season, even if he has a good season, I think it's a good chance we just won't resign him because of the amount of left ends we are, I mean, of the amount of ends that we already have that are all younger than him. I just don't see us resigning him because then if we do resign him, then, you know, Charles Harris will never get to, like, actually play and reach his full potential unless he, we put him on the other side, okay? And then what, what does that mean for Robert Quinn? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then you still got Andre Branch. It's just... <sighs> I, I, unfortunately, guys, the saddest one for me is uh, I think this might be Cameron Wake's last season. We'll, we'll get back to this video and we'll see, though. Anyway, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I left anybody off. Let me know if I put somebody on that probably shouldn't have been on that y'all think, regardless, uh, uh, is not really no pressure on him. Like, I feel like Kenyon Drake, I don't care what kind of season he has. I don't think there's no pressure on him, okay? I don't think we're just going to let go of him, okay? Kenny Steele, same thing. I don't think we're just going to let go of no matter what kind of... You know what I'm saying? Do y'all think that, you know, somebody put on this list is like that? 
Anyways, get in the conversation, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy K Flex and Roll to Six County Way. I'm out. I know I want it for the crystal many times But I knew this moment to come Now it's my time I gotta make up for all them nights that my mama cried I'm going in, I'm putting